Before you make your announcement, are you still on probation from the Muslim church? Yes, I have about another two months and I'll be back. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want to go ahead with the announcement? Yeah, what I was going to say is this. Uh, there's been a lot of controversy over who's the world heavyweight champion. You know, you have my former spawn partner, James Ellis, who uh, they gave the title to, and a local boy here named Joe Frazier. And, uh, and then I know that I've never been defeated neither. So the boxing authorities recognized James Ellis and Joe Frazier on paper as the champion. All but one, Ranger Magazine, that's Nat Fletcher, they recognize myself. And all of my fans, black and white, throughout America and the world, are determined to not recognize no one but me. There's a lot of confusion. So you have a title fight coming up between James Ellis and Joe Frazier. And uh, I'm announcing now, I have announced, uh, I told it to a press conference a few days ago that I'm finished forever with boxing. I'm through. I'm retired. Mm -hmm. I read that. And so I was like, for real right, right, for all of my fans uh, who follow me and support me, which number, millions in America and all throughout Asia and Africa and Europe who will not recognize no one but me right now. So to keep boxing legal and to keep it like it's been going, I'm going to turn over my championship belt to the winner of this fight between James Ellis and Joe Frazier in Madison Square Garden that night. And so that I can direct all of my followers to them, letting them know that I'm finished and I'm through. As long as I'm not legally retired or dead, then this is confusing. And there'll always be trouble and controversy. So uh, to keep the thing like it was, see this belt right here traditionally, this is the same belt that Jack Johnson had, Rocky Marciano, Joe Lewis, Gene Tunney. And Jack, uh, then it start with John L. Sullivan? Right, John L. Sullivan. This is the World Heavyweight Championship belt. This is it. I don't think this is it. Is this another thing? I'll explain something here. Okay. It says here, won by Cassius Clay, my name at the time of Louisville, Kentucky, Convention Hall, Miami Beach, Florida, knocked out Sunday Liston of Denver, Colorado in the seventh round. Now, traditionally, this is the same belt. This went from hand to hand, but they just give you new belts, but it's the same belt. So since this is the last of the real world championship belts, and I've never been defeated, then uh, I'm going to hand this to the winner, honoring him as the best, next of to myself, the, of course. Of the Frazier. <laughs> then if you're going to do that, we should, we should put another little come on here and put second best on it. Oh, well, you know, well, he will get a belt, I'm sure, from the boxing I authorities, think but I it think will be what gesture. I call, it'll be what I call elimination belt, our homemade, our racial, our political belt. This is the last I think he, by me saying and will make him really the champion. Now, this is the first time in history a champion is right, he's and, given uh, his belt away right, to my knowledge. Right. So uh, then this will be the again. And then we don't have no more. Yeah. No more trouble over who's champion and all that. Was this a difficult question for you? No, no. <laughs> how, much, how much thinking about this did you do before you decided well, to do About that? 20 minutes. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I wouldn't put myself on the spot. I didn't mean it. How does your, how does your wife feel about you doing it? Oh, this? she's glad. Yeah, I can imagine. That must be a terrible be thing good. for a wife to either sit ringside or sit home and fight. <laughs> She wouldn't even watch him, you know. In your heart, did you always like to fight? I started at the age of 12 years old. I was two-time national Golden Glove champion, two-time national AAU champion. I was title at the age of 18 to the amateur boxer. Your brother told me a story that I... Your brother told me that when you were 16, you were watching the Olympics. You said in two years, said to him, in two years, Metal. That's that's positive thinking. As a matter of fact, during my championship, no would bet on. I didn't think. I uh, really, and I was with. I didn't think that list and win. And later I found out he pulled him up from the alcohol in the wintergreen. Somewhere in my eyes, and I called up. You did by a computer. Well, that's 
I don't consider that a fee that's a science fee. Page we stand out a TKO. I said a knockout. He knocked me out and TKO'd me. One and then that was that he what happened. I knew Why? that before we paid it. Did you over Mars champions your head? How, how was it be actually be this computer? Well, you we, and you and he got this to pay lost about seven. Could have happened to fight. Did you when you did this? Both of seventy rounds. Well, well, I mean, there's a lot of stuff. I like for the box. This never. Heavyweight because don't nothing and make it good enough. Let somebody else could do this. Twenty-eight. That's one of you. Yeah. And you, you. The outcome of this fight happens at the uh, Joe Fred. My draft. Say if I have to pay, they don't go to jail. You was right. I want you to finish and you teeth. Is that right? Right now. What do you think? I don't know. Ellis. Who's your sparring partner, James Ellis? Yeah, for about four years. You think he'll beat? I think. Crazy. <laughs> Have you always had this great melody? <laughs> <laughs> How well, about your you, act? And I saw you had some. You were great yeah, on that. Thank you. And you sang. You can over here. They might. I'd like to give away my. My producer. <laughs> Dumb as you look, that's a favorite expression of yours. Are you. Yeah. Go to prison? I take life as it comes. I don't worry about nothing. The I maximum, worry about everything. Me, I've been to the window long. <laughs> nothing. You just said I don't worry about anything. Mm -hmm. so. How do you trouble. take life? Day right. by day? Well, here's the way I look at it. Like, if something happens, it's punishment about it. See, like, like, uh, if I know, and some uh, thing that's gonna punish me is myself. What happen uh, is the real torment, not right. the actual that's thing. That's true. Anticipation is always greater than the realization. So worrying about mm -hmm. what's gonna happen when I read this. Ought to be a headline. Then next day they have to put something else. In five days, if it gets people on it, a lot of them are prominent men. In a three days, cases have gotten so part about me to worry about. Is that cost money and legal fees so far? When the price of freedom comes high, America done spent maybe some I don't know how many billions just to free somebody else. So, what's a few dollars? Mm -hmm. yeah. What's the what's the Maximum sentence five years. That ain't nothing. Half a free. No. I don't know. I met a fellow the other day going to the airport. I'm not doing what they want to do, but he had his scack on it. His black brother, man. He said, How you doing, Mom? How you feel? I'm you sure are brave. Oh, you You have a lot of courage. I said, Where are you Vietnam? You are bold, but not me. You have a lot of courage, too. You what? put your life. I don't think I've ever asked you. I've often wanted to ask you this. 
on it. I don't think you would ever would ever have gotten to the front line because they would bother me. No, but they, they really me. I think I know uh, they would have had you going building morale. He might not have been. What if I would, I, 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 well, I, think I didn't know what I'm Did doing. Did you think about that at well, all? I wouldn't if I was told officials from Washington what I knew I wouldn't have you wouldn't have won uh, went to war. That didn't bother me. I just followed my religion followed my religion. No oath to mm -hmm. no Giving this belt you think this will affect your party at all? I don't I don't know. I never thought about it. You know, I'm not this is a popularity. I'm just wanna get rid of it. I wanna keep the th to give it to the next best man so the fight game still stay real right now. It's phony like a there's only one, they always had a saying in America, there's only one champion. And the heavyweight champion of the world. And the only way you can win that title is in the ring. So you can lose. That changed with me. And they even got this thing colored, though. Same color the flag, see? So to keep the thing right, keep it like it was. I really like the sport of boxing. I mean, I've been in it all my life, but I'm, I'm through with it now. I'm, 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 you and Marciano were good right. friends. Yeah, so I'm finished with it. So I just want uh, the thing to stay so Frazier and Ellis can actually say they are champions and not be ridiculed by my fans. You're not the champion. Muhammad Ali will beat you. You never fought Muhammad. You're fake. So by me recognizing this man and turning all my fans to this man and giving him my belt, I hope that'll let them see that I'm actually out of it so they will recognize the next man as the champion. Well, I'm glad you chose our show to do that. Muhammad Ali. We'll be right back. Thank you.